Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we retest every single mask on Amazon. I came up with this plan a long time ago, and the thing about Amazon is you just keep coming back for more. More masks, new masks that I haven't tested, and I'm gonna test every single one of you. This is the KF94 Hand Mom 3D Safety Mask. Let's put it in the clamper and see what happens. So I love, I've said that you watch any of these about my KF94 rants, I love packaging, but this is, I don't like this packaging. This, is a, this one is, um, you can see through it, and that means that it's not a true barrier. In fact, let me just show you one we just did. You see it when it's this reflective packaging, reflective on the inside, and it looks like that. That's, that's, a, that's a barrier. You're not gonna get any smells or any uh, ickiness, which is a technical term, look it up. This, this bag is not gonna stop that. So I would not be surprised if this mask ends up having a weird smell, not because of the manufacturing process, but because of you know, the rotten grapefruit that Amazon probably stored the mask with. I admit that. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency test. Uh, let's take a look at this mask. So we know I don't like the packaging as much, but it's a high bar, like it's a high bar for these guys. Um, and, uh, but you know, it's, it is a, a KF94. KF94s typically, uh, when I put them on this machine, you're getting uh, 95, 96, 97% filtration on it, typically. Um, let me try this. Uh, yeah, I've seen better. I mean, look, they were skimping on the packaging because this packaging is a lot cheaper than the other packaging that I just should, like I honestly think if you were to buy this packaging in the United States, you're talking probably, probably 30, 40 cents per bag that you're paying. Probably cheaper in South Korea, but that's how much I would have to pay for that packaging. This is like 10 cents, a lot cheaper. Right. Put this on, this is like huge on my face. They have different sizes. It does say large, but this is really big on my face. A lot of breathable area. It smells, uh, it smells like a lab where they make plastic. It's like a clean plasticky smell. But yeah, it's, it's a little big on my face, to be honest. Um, so pretty, pretty good mask. I, I thought it would smell more than it did because of, because of that packaging. You know, not terrible, but does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Now remember, what I say, KF94s, they, they have to hit 94% on a machine like this, but they just knock it out of the park. They're just always consistently such a good product because the Korean FDA, they don't mess around. The Korean FDA is like David Hasselhoff. Like, he, he doesn't mess around. I mean, Baywatch, Knight Rider, like, he came to play. You know what I'm saying? And so does the Korean FDA. Uh, but does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Does all my ramblings matter? No, they don't matter. None of this matters. Only this machine matters. And it is giving you the truth. If you are a truth seeker, this is the truth. And the truth here is that the Hand Mom 3D Safety Face Mask is 99.749%. Now, looking at the breathability, it's a little high. Uh, when we're running the test, it hit 210. You want to see that to be below 150, or that's going to be really hard to breathe in. So there are better KF94s that are more breathable. Today we've tested, you know, in the 150 range. I've seen them in the 130 range. Um, this is above 200. That's probably a better mask for you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I will catch you on the next test.